Even why in this place we have a community which is closer to the slave camp, and I'm telling you something about uh, this community. I said they have this, it's a gossip because in Ghana, with our past, we don't like calling people slaves. So sometimes we don't want to bring these things out. Yes, but it's part of, of the tour, so you should know. They have this direct connection with whatever happened here. Their great, 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 great grandmother was taking us a stolen African, mm -hmm. and she was brought to the slave camp. She couldn't make the mark, so she was tied around the babu trees for her to perish. Our ancestors smiled on her, the evidence blessed her, and she was fortunate that she had somebody to rescue her. So when she was rescued, she didn't know where she was coming from. She didn't know where to go. So she had to adopt this place as his home. Whether she was coming from Burkina, I don't know. Whether she was coming from Ghana, she can't tell. So they lived around this community. So when the trade was cancelled, she started loitering around this community. Then for the past 30 years, she decided to settle here because it is with this place that she knows everything. It's with this place that reminds her of everything that happened to her. Yes. So she didn't go from, she didn't go into the, but she came back here. Yes, but our government is trying to compensate them to take them from, from this side, which for me, I think it is not important. You see, in 2005, one of our tour guys went to the river and while making the whole place look attractive, he stepped on something in the river and he pulled that and it was a cannonball and a chain. We found it in the river in 2005. So with that cannonball and a chain, we made our claim to the UG Department of Archaeology, our University of Ghana Archaeology Department, so that if they can come to our aid and excavate this place. Because this history, this research about our, our brothers and sisters, the stolen Africans, there is an ongoing process and day in and day out, new material evidences are found wow. that, that we can use to say our story better, for them to know that the way you treated us is something that is forever and we will always see. Even if you try to hide it, we will always see. And one day, one day, we are even seeing it now. Yes. So, basically, this is the only thing I need to tell you about these people from this community. And we don't like calling people slaves because we are Africans, so we are all one. Yes. So, we're making our way. I think, in addition to what is okay. said, um, those who were here then, the enslaved Africans, some of them were integrated into the society. It just gave them out. What I say, give them out. Uh, there's mm. a family. It's a home. Oh, okay, you take care of this. You take care of this. You take care of this. So in this town, when you come, even if you know, you cannot point out to say your great 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 grandparent was this or that. Mm -hmm. When you said that, then you are found. It's a serious offense. Mm. Mm. Serious offense. So there is no description about this or that, we are all oh, one family. Yes. Mm -hmm.